lihat file ni. Okay, maybe you can type number T if you can see this file. Okay, ada club Manchester United. Okay, can you see this? Okay, that's good. Alright, so contoh, kalau saya tukar maybe kepada Liverpool. Okay, so anda akan lihat ada perubahan dari segi ranking dia dan juga graf dia. Okay, pada masa yang sama, if you look this graph below, dia dalam currency ringgit Malaysia. So sekiranya saya tekan kat sini ni, saya tukar US dollar, dia ada perubahan juga. juga. Okay, so ini adalah beza antara drop down list and developer tab. Okay, so apa bezanya? Okay, let me show you an example. So now if just say I have this, okay, maybe I go here. Okay, I have this clubs, okay. I copy and I'm going to paste it here. So this is the clubs, all right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to data. Okay, I'm going to go to data, data validation. Okay, data, data validation. This window will pop out. Okay, this window will pop out. I go to list. Okay, I go to list. I tekan Liverpool sampai Manchester United. Okay, so now kat sini ni, I boleh pilih Liverpool ke, Arsenal ke, or even Manchester United. I can make the selection. Okay, based on the data. So contoh, maybe I want to put a, another list. Maybe Barcelona, or perhaps uh, one more list. Maybe uh, Real Madrid. Okay, or maybe we can put uh, JDT as well. Okay, so now if just say, I'm going to create a new list. I go to data. I go to data validation. Click at sini. Okay. This window will pop out. Allow. List. Okay. Source. Saya highlight semua ni. Okay. Saya highlight semua ni. Saya tekan okay. Then you notice that. Boleh pilih lah. Liverpool ke. Arsenal ke. Or even JDT. Okay. So this is what they call as. Uh, data. Data validation. And then close kepada. List. Okay, so this is how you do it. Now, if just say I told you the developer tab. Okay, so developer tab sama juga. You go to developer. You go to insert. You go to combo box. Okay, you go to combo box. You just highlight kat sini. Okay, you right click. Okay, you right click. Format control. Input range. You letak ni. Cell uh, link. Letak sini pun boleh. And you there you go. So sekarang ni if I click, I can choose Liverpool. I can choose Arsenal. I can choose even JDT. Okay. So now you will ask me, Alan, apa bezanya? This one is developer. After developer, insert. And then after insert is combo box. Okay. So what's the difference is? The difference is yang ni lekat ke dalam satu cell saja. Okay. It is remain in one cell. Mana kalau kat sini ni, okay, when I press right click, when I press right click, I can move. I nak letak atas pun boleh. I nak letak belah kiri pun boleh. I can letak at the bottom, bottom left, bottom right. So basically, I can move. Okay, I can move and also I can amend the size. That means, I can change the size to big, besar pun boleh, ataupun kecil pun boleh. Okay, so it depends. So basically, this is for the purpose of presentation. So it depends if you want a better presentation, you can use anything you want. Okay. And also I can change this, right click, format control. These drop down lines, maybe I pick five. I just want five items only. So when I press OK, you will notice here, Arsenal, Manchester, Barcelona, JDT, and Real Madrid. So lima item. So I scroll up, Liverpool, Arsenal, menu. So ada lima je. Okay. So this is how it works. All right. So this is the thing.